Hey guys, Luke here, and we're back for episode 10 of my career mode series. It's titled The Boss, and the concept is to try and go through many different leagues. We're starting out with A-League, and hopefully we can keep it to, you know, one club a season. Uh, so yeah, we're starting off with Melbourne City, and we've got three games this episode. Um, just like usual, we've got an away game against the Central Coast Mariners, we got a home game against the Western Sydney Wanderers, and we got another home game against the Brisbane Raw. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the most interesting episodes this far, or thus far, I should say. Uh, I know it's only been 10 episodes, but uh, some quite interesting results in here, but I won't spoil it. So you just saw the Central Coast lineup, and now here's our lineup. Now, this interesting uh, as we got a debut to Coton and Berlante, I think. Uh, also, we're playing Chapman uh, at the centre back. I'm not sure of how many games he's played, but it can't be many. And uh, it could be a bad move, could be a good move. Uh, ratings wise, there's not too much difference between him and uh, a normal uh, centre back. I forget his name, but uh, he's a D Dutch player, I think. So uh, they went up 1 0 uh, with a goal to Fitzgerald. We uh, went pretty close there, but falls back to Berlante, who takes a shot, and what a goal! What a goal that was. There will be a replay uh, to have a look at that, but oh my god, I could not believe that when it went in. I hadn't scored too many sort of goals like that, and it's kind of strange. Like it was, a, it was a finesse shot for sure. Um, but yeah, what a goal! And that wasn't uh, a debut for Berlante as I thought, but it definitely for uh, someone I think. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't debuts. Maybe they played in the last episode. I know we did make a bunch of signings right on uh, transfer deadline. Um, yeah. So Matt Simon gets it to Kim Sung Yong, and there's another goal, two one up. And you know it's just not falling into place for us. That's his fourth goal in the league, and it just. Just before half time too, so we couldn't escape uh, to half time with a one or draw. Um, you know, two one. We're not out of it, but we're definitely not playing very well. And then once again, just poor defending just there. Gives Fitzgerald his second goal. And at this stage, it's you know you lose hope um, in picking up some points. M maybe a, a draw is not out of reach, but you'd say the wins. Once you throw one up, you shouldn't win from there. And David Williams. Uh, his first shot was not good. The initial run was very good, but uh, the shot was not good at all straight at him. The follow-up um, should have been a goal. Just need to get on target, which he didn't. And you got to come to expect that with some of these lower-rated players. And then they score that goal there. It was just so disheartening. It was through Maine. Um, it's his first goal. I don't know if they got him in January or what, but just it's so shitty to concede that. Especially because I didn't feel it was a very good shot anyways. we got Chapman, the centre back, who is, we went all out attack, uh, which all out attack can be good and bad. Uh, it leaves you exposed at the back, but if you look there, Chapman, our centre back, got involved with the attack, which led to a goal there. So uh, Ramsey scored, and then we went really close again there with Ramsey, so could have been two goals in like, the space of like a minute there, but it wasn't meant to be. 4 2 is how it finished. Goals to Fitzgerald, he actually got two, and then we got Sung Yong and Main for Central Coast, and then for us we had Berlante and Ramsey. It was a wonder goal, but in the end it didn't matter. In the end it doesn't even matter. There we go. And then uh, Cotton. This is, I was saying in one of the previous episodes that when I was looking at the, the highlights, I was like, oh, he's not too bad, but I think this was the downfall of him. You saw he got a 4.9 just before, so not good. And uh, Will uh, was the centre back I was thinking of. So we dropped Chapman again. Uh, we've got Duganzic in the side. Pretty much um, our strongest Probably our strongest side, I would say. Um, maybe Olinga, I don't know. Um, so we're looking for a much improved performance. Will it happen? I don't know. It's an away game against Wanderers um, in Wonderland. It's you know, it's good atmosphere there. Not that you can tell in the game, but we're gonna have to be uh, on form to win this one. See Sabo going through here, and it's a great save by Redmayne. Redmayne's been pretty good this year so far. He comes out and yeah. What the f was that? And then if you if you want to have a good laugh, go and watch the defender come across, and he kind of does like a drop kick uh, and misses the ball. Uh, but what can you do? Get Davidville here, just doing some work here. Ramsey should have finished that. He doesn't, and you know, really disappointing finish. To be fair, uh, there's not that many highlights in this game, but I thought out of the highlights that there was, we were definitely the better side. But it might not seem that way. But we had we've had two highlights, the one, and here's their second highlight. But you know, 90th minute, they should have scored there to make it 2-0, but really, we should have been up 2-1 with, with goals of Ramsey and Villa, but wasn't meant to be. So that's a, a two-match losing streak, which I don't think has happened at all this um, this series. I don't think we've lost two in a row, so uh, we're in, we're in um, untested waters here. How will we bounce back? 
I, I, I can't I can't say to be honest. He saw Matthew Reddy here, 71 to 94 for an A-League side, incredible potential, but we couldn't afford him. Uh, so we're gonna have to try and figure something out. Uh, what we'll probably end up doing is um, requesting some funds, and we'll have to see what happens. So you can see we've got quite a quite a lead, um, but at this stage the, the lead we've got the lead wrapped up. The the, the wins, like the form going into the playoffs, because the A-League, if you're not aware, has playoffs. Um, so, the, you have a minor premiership here, but it's not really the winners, it's whoever wins the, the playoffs. So, the knockout games and all that sort of stuff. And Brisbane Raw are likely uh, opponents, as, as were Wanderers and Central Coast. Like, all those teams could be potential opponents, so we've got to be um, on form there. So, I think it was because Norbo went close there, but then he gets a second chance and buries it. Um, yeah, so it's his second goal. I would have thought he would have scored a lot more, but yeah, there we have it. Two goals, to, oh, sorry, second goal of the league, but um, because Nobo picks up um, the first goal of this game. Hopefully not the last, but, you know, we'll take it if that's how it ends. But David Williams there, probably should have scored, but it was a tough angle. I think I'm finding that just go near post rather than try and go across the goal. Seems to work out quite well. And then Davavir on the ball. We've already scored two this season like this. And there's a third. Um... Out of the three, this is probably the worst one. Well, it's not bad, but it's just in terms of, like, the keeper should have saved that one. He gets a hand to it. Just poor keeping, but we we you saw just before in the Wanderers game, we had a poor um, keeper. Like, the keeper was shit for us as well, so take the good with the bad. And uh, a 2 0 win with goals to Gaznobo and Vila. So, let's come to the end of the episode. As you can see, we're just going to be requesting some funds here. We only want 300,000 because we just need to sign that one player. And uh, yeah, we're going to do it in a second, but whilst doing that, let's say, could you please leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and hopefully enjoy the video, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye, guys. Yeah.